All right, folks, this is all the stuff I'm taking to Barry Game Exchange. Not a lot of stuff, but a handful of stuff that I wanted to get rid of. We're going to see how the show is. I did make some signs saying trade in your Pokemon and video games. Um, so these Bristol boards hopefully shall help us. And we will see what we'll make today because we have some projects to do at home. All right, first sale of the day before the show starts. Where are you from? Eric from Brody's Gaming. Thanks for uh, coming out today. Appreciate your service as always, and a, a great seller. If you need something, come see them. Very swap. All right, 400 bucks first sale we did. Uh, Final Fight, Mario Kart, Mario Kart, Golden Nugget, South Park, Donkey Kong, two Marios, Kirby, and two Pokemon games there. It's the first sale of the day. All right, I did a official trade, first trade of the sale. I traded these two right here for Wild Arms as well as Shen Miyagi Tensei. Uh, so the straight trade, and they will have a show right here. He promotes uh, wrestling. All right, there's our price show. We've got all of these games, Switch titles, more stuff. My nephew right there. Uh, some remotes and the system and the Saturn that we got from the yard sale and all this right here including that action set right there yeah, righty Two thousand bucks right there. Great game there. All right, this is Mubs the Game Hunter. I just sold him a Game Boy Color, no sound, for 40 bucks. And this is his stall of awesomeness. Follow me on Instagram. Follow him on Instagram. <laughs> Game plug. Game plug once again. And he's got some swords here. And a lot more discounted items right here, manuals. And right here we have a bunch of cool stuff. I really like that one there. And my buddy Steve has this case right here. It's all his stuff right here. Matt the man is here. The best of the best. CJR, obviously the legend of legends. I'm his sidekick. His, he's the sidekick today. Batman Robin. Awesome, awesome. It's all his stuff right here. Heavy headers. Matt, what's new in life for you? I'm, I'm collecting Funko Pops. Funko Pops. I got 99 Funko Pops. Oh, if I had mine, I would have, I would have give you some. You want some Lo loose ones? Oh, yeah, I'll, yeah I'll I've fine. got some loose ones there. Oh, cool. But by the cool. time the video is uploaded, we still have them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've had them for about two months now. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> so this nice young gentleman right here gave me four magical Pokemon cards from my childhood. So this worked out to be 115. We traded him Mario Party, Glover, and Killer Instant straight trade. Thank you for the deal. No problem. All right, so I got rid of all my Naruto DVD stuff. I had to add $15, but I got myself Jurassic Park. I've been looking for this game for a long time. All right, a little pickup I did, 50 bucks for the following. At the show. Two Tiger Woods, 98 and two ninety nines. Nothing really major, but 22 games at that price. 
Um, the kids just wanted to get rid of it. I was like, sure. So the two siphon filters again. So everything there, 50 bucks. All right, this cool guy right here. We ended up trading Persona. Wild Arms, which I just got, and now it's gone. Pikmin for Dark Arbok, MK4, this card right here, and Blade. Plus 25 bucks. All right, folks, here is a recap of everything I found at the Berry Game Exchange. A lot of people said it was really slow of a show, but I thought it was pretty good. Again, I was selling things way under market uh, just because I'm a yard seller and I like to help other resellers get a good deal as well as I like people to come back to me and follow me on my channel. So without further ado, I got all the following games. Um, so the PS1 lot, I already showed you that lot. So these were the titles that came with it. Nothing super crazy. But... Surprisingly, there was a handful of games that I'm going to be adding to my collection. So these ones will be given away like for trade bait or resale purposes. And the last game was Tony Hawk. So these ones are not really, not really too interested in. Uh, but the following games have some value. Uh, so kickboxing is one of them. It's like a 10 to $15 game. I thought it was pretty cool because it's kickboxing. Uh, Grand Theft Auto is another $30 game. And guys, let me know in the comments about this specific game. I've seen some weird trends. Um, it sells anywhere between $15 to $40. Let me know in the comments, is why is this game so weird? Is it because of Tiger Woods on it? And last but not least, another about uh, $20, $25 game which I didn't even know, I just thought it was a common game, um, was Star Wars. So all of that was 50 bucks there. I did do a trade. I ended up getting Blade and two Pokemon cards. Uh, so the Blade I was really happy with, but when I checked closer, the manual was a little cut. So now I understand why the price was a lot lower. But nevertheless, I have Blade in my collection. Super happy and stoked with that uh traded away some stuff and i got a castlevania i think i had like a few funko pops and i added like another 10 bucks on this so i got this which was awesome those funko pops were meant for matt cgr's sidekick but it ended up not happening um i also got shen miyagi gradia three or two Super stoked and excited to find this game at last um, is Jurassic Park Islands Attack. I don't have many GBA box complete stuff in my collection, so I was super stoked to find this. It had a price tag of 100 bucks, but I traded away those Naruto uh, DVD box set stuff that I had. Uh, super happy to get that. And uh, got the following Pokemon cards, uh, which was uh, Erica's Vileplume, Dark Weezing, Dark Alakazam, Rocket Zapdos. That was from one trade. And the guy who gave me Blade ended up giving me these two cards here. Uh, so he had them for 10 and 15 bucks, so 25 And he gave me 25 bucks as well in cash. Uh, shout out to my helper of the day. He gave me a whopping awesome copy of NBA 2K22. So, that was given to me. As well as my helper gave me Dexter. He just gave him to me. Call of Duty. And the last uh, two games. There's one more game here. Uh, which was a $45 price tag. But the uh, two games I was really stoked to get. And I've been searching for 
one of these for a long time. The other one that was an absolute fluke I got. But uh, this one is Musashi. A uh, really good, fun game. Uh, I've seen a lot of reviews on it. So super stoked to find this. As well as I was blown away when I seen this game. It's one of the rarer titles of this genre, which was Armor Core Nexus. So super stoked to get that. So that was everything I picked up from the show. I had a pretty fun time there just talking to people, but it was super busy, so I couldn't take any footages. Uh, last but not least, I think one of the coolest pieces I got, it's damaged. So you look at the back there, it's damaged, but it is a binder with Charizard. This was given to me free from my buddy Ali. I like to call him Ali Express. He was awesome. He's always there buying out games. And I also showed his Instagram. Please follow him. Uh, he always has deals. So like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, I have one more yard sale video for you guys. Uh, I was supposed to do a recap of the collection for that video. But I ended up selling most of it at the show. So... Bear with me with the editing work for that, but that shall be coming up pretty soon. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.